hey there everyone, uh, we're back again with some more Fate Reforged spoilers, but there's going to be a bit more coherency this time, hopefully. Yeah, no, you're, you're hoping. No, no there, there really isn't. So we're just going to jump right back into it. We've got Frankie again with the uh, nicknames, which you definitely should use. And yeah, let's get on with it. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, starting off with Monastery Siege or Varim Malizor. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> it's beautiful already. And also a very beautiful card to start with. Mm. Tell us details. That artwork, yo. That, that artwork, artwork is beautiful. The We can assume that's going to be the Azorius coloured uh, dragon that's yet to be spoiled. It's beautiful. But anyway, yes, read the read right. us the abilities. Here we go. So, for one blue, two colourless, we get an enchantment. When it enters the battlefield, you get to choose Khans or dragons. So, Khans. At the beginning of your draw step, draw an additional card, then discard a card. Mm. And dragons, spells your opponent's cast, can't uh, that target you or opponent you control cost two or more. Which both, two more. both abilities are very versatile and they're just brilliant. I, I, I mean, in my opinion, I think in standard, I don't think it's ever going to be a dead card, really. I think either mode is going to be relevant no matter what you're playing against. Um, I'm super excited about this card, personally. Um, I, I just think, I just think it's great. Everything about it's great. Yeah. Um, looking at the card, so cards yeah. and the control deck that's going to keep you uh, going, mm -hmm. uh, drawing your cards and choosing what you get to keep. Yeah. And uh, with dragons, that's good up against aggro. Yeah, yeah. So good. Um, especially yeah, when a red burn. Mm -hmm. So if they want to burn your face, they've got to pay two extra for each spell. Yeah, having a lightning so strike cost. Four sure. mana is not great for them. Um, but it's also, it's good. I, I also think that dragons can be good against control. S specifically, you know, uh, like against control as well. Like having their heroes downfall costs like five. Mm. And that kind of thing. It's, it slows down. It kind of, it's a control tempo type thing, which is pretty cool. It'd be super strong. Yeah, great card. Right, Thumbs moving on up. to the next. Yes. Okay, Monastery mm. Mentor or Senpai. <laughs> the pause. <laughs> is that such grand art? Even though it's like kind of skewed and tilted, that he like generally just is a senpai. It should be called monastery sen senpai, <laughs> really. But th this card, this is another one of those cards that's got quite an enormous amount of hype. But unlike a bit like being a bit unfair to Soulfire Grandmaster, who is a great card, I do think this one is quite worthy of the hype. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So two colorless, one white for a two-two with prowess. Mm -hmm. Seems all right. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you get one-one token, which is a monk. Yeah. And it has prowess. It has prowess. And he has prowess, as Josh said. Yeah. So the uh, next turn you play whatever spell. Let's go lightning strike. Mm -hmm. This guy becomes a three-three, mm -hmm. and you get a one-one. Yes. Which. And then you cast another spell, that 1-1 one, one becomes a 2-2, two, two. you get another 1-1, one, one. this guy's a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, you can't also deny the comparison to a lot of people have made to Young Pyromancer. Um, I'm not sure if in modern whether, like, obviously you can go Young Pyromancer, then this guy. It kind of slows Young Pyromancer down. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. No, but uh, as far as standard goes, Monastery Mentor is, is going to make an enormous impact on standard, I think we feel. Um, Pretty damn strong. And is going to be annoying to go against. Because there are a lot of token strategies already, and he just makes them better. Really. Yeah. Yeah. That flavour text, speak little, do much, seems so gruel. That, it does seem surprisingly <laughs> gruel, yeah. But he's quite a gruel-ish card. He's very aggro. So, yeah. Good. All right, shall we move on? Yes. Okay, supplicant form, or pop, pop. <laughs> I didn't expect that. <laughs> All right, reason right. like abilities, Josh. Instant speed, four mana, blue, blue. Mm -hmm. uh, return target creature you control. No. Nah. Owners. Return target creature to its owner's hand. Mm -hmm. Not you control, that would be silly. Uh, you no. put a token onto the battlefield, that's a copy of that creature. I think okay, this... maybe it's not too silly. Yeah, I think this card is. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I can tell by your face, you just realised. Supplement form is. 
I think pretty incredible. Like as you know, as our other member James has said, it's a really great card. It's I also think it's almost an auto include in a lot of EDH. Um, I wouldn't say it's an EDH staple, but I'd say it's getting there. Um, oh man, it's a, nuts. A few standards ago, Fragtas, Benvis. No. Ah, oh, that would be no, that's, so silly. You, that's <laughs> your dream. We <laughs> so never silly. want something like Fragtas back. But Supplement Form is awesome. And it's got really cool art as well. It's also got a full art version for, I believe it's a Games Day promo. Yeah. It's got a full mm -hmm. art, which is even more beautiful. Seems strong. So yeah, it's an awesome card. It's going to be awesome in EDH. Not sure about Standard. Um, six Mana is a hell of a lot. Mm. Um, especially with all the ETB effects and whatnot going on at the moment. But outside, EDH especially, it's pretty damn good. Yeah. Thumbs up to that. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Next card. One I absolutely <clears throat> love the look of. Mm. Flameweight Phoenix or Moltres. Oh, <laughs> Moltres. <laughs> okay, so yeah. All right. So it's basically Chandra's Phoenix. But better. Mm. So one colorless, two red for a 2-2. Two, two, flying haste. Mm -hmm. Attacks at each turn if able. Oh, I didn't see that bit. Okay. Mm. Mm. Ferocious, at the beginning of combat on your turn, if you control a creature with power four or greater, you may pay one red. If you do, return this card from your graveyard to the battlefield. The obvious instant synergy is with Butcher of the Horde, who is Which a four is five. Absolutely crazy. So you would be able to sack it and then trigger the Flame Wake back, mm. which is. Insane. Like that. <laughs> yeah, like this is basically China's Phoenix 2.0, isn't it? Uh, in, yeah. in many, many ways. Um, so you're not having to use a um, instant or sorcery to burn off your opponent or something to get it back and yes. then have to pay its uh, complete mana cost again. Oh, of course. Yeah, Instead, it's recast it's, it, yeah. At the beginning, it's a trigger for the beginning of your combat mm -hmm. and you just pay one red if you've got a... Um, creature of four or more power. Yes, yeah, yeah. Which is not that unlikely in standard, really. Not now. Yeah. Uh, but because of the ferocious trigger, you're going to see it more in a bit of a mid-range range, straight oh, up aggro. Yeah, yeah, I would imagine this is going to be... Which is strange because it is definitely more of a... It's a very aggro card. Yeah, because so, yeah. like, it's going to fight for a space of Corsa, which is bizarre, like, a mana cost-wise. But... I mean, you know, in certain decks, it's probably going to be pretty incredible. Oh, you could even use this in the sideboard and uh, take out your courses and throw this in, if needs be. Oh, yeah, if the other deck's too fast, yeah. Yeah, great. We might see that a lot. <laughs> okay, Whisper of the Wilds or Ferocious Wind Chime. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look at her head. She's got a wind yes. chime on it. This card is very you. It ramps, <laughs> like, quite well. Mm. Although that bod, you know, zero two. Oh, right, that mana, bod, yeah. Uh, not too great. I did not notice if that. If it was zero three, it'd be a lot stronger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, that'd be a bit too crazy for Ferocious Trigger. Yes. So. Which does what? Balancing. Uh, feroci uh, for Ferocious, you get to... Uh, Tap this guy down to add two green to your mana pool. Mm -hmm. Activate visibility if you control a creature with power four or greater. Yes. So it's instant speed uh, tapping down, like you'd expect. Yeah. Only if you've got a creature with power four or greater. Yeah, which is a bit iffy, but it does still generate a single green mana. Yeah, if you don't have a ferocious, it's just the land of all elves. I mean, thing. yeah, I, 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 I feel the only trouble with this card is it's fighting with... Um, Sylvan Carriages. Yes, yeah. quite and it's a bit. losing battle. Yeah, I mean, when it rotates out, though, I don't know. I don't really use those, so I don't know. But I, I know Sylvan Carriages is extremely oh, yeah, important. It's insane. Yeah. I've seen uh, four color decks working quite well because of Sylvan Carriages. Oh, yes. And I myself am now running five color. He so. is, and it works. It's crazy. And the other but member, Sammy of ours, runs four color, and that works. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, next. Dromoka, the Eternal, or Godzilla? <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> does look a lot like Godzilla. Um, yeah, yeah, Godzilla. Okay, so uh, f three colourless, one green and one white. Yes. 
Uh, five five flyer. Whenever a dragon you control attacks, bolster two. So bolster. Choose a creature with the lo- uh, least toughness mm-hmm. among creatures you control and put two counters on, on it. It seems good. I mean, my initial reaction is you don't really need a board state to make that card good because it bolsters itself if you've got no other creatures, which seems very strong. Yeah. Um, yeah, Karen. You also get multiple triggers if you're attacking with multiple dragons. Which oh, right. With crazy. Whenever a dragon. Yeah. Yeah. That does seem good. And also you've got the kind of the brood symbol on the watermark there, which is like the extended Asban one, which just mm. has like what, like two needles at the top and the bottom, which is... Pretty sweet. Yeah, I mean, you like needles, so. (laughs) (laughs) Right. I don't even know what that means. Yeah, go on to the next card. Okay. Let's go with Figure of Fate Reforged. Ah, that's clever. Now, this card was only released, like, what, an hour before we recorded? So, Mm. it's... So, we're looking at uh, (coughs) Figure of Destiny kind of thing yes so for one sure. green for one one it's got three abilities on it first one a colorless and hybrid ores of mm-hmm. um one of the first tree becomes a human warrior with base power and toughness free free mm-hmm. it's second ability two colorless two ores of mana uh if ward of first tree is a warrior it becomes a human spirit warrior with trample and life link and for three mana and three, uh, three colorless, three ores of, um, if it's a spirit, put five counters on it. Yes, which is, I have just noticed that its second ability doesn't actually affect its power and toughness. It just changes the type for the third ability and gives it trample and lifelink. Yeah. But yes, unlike... Unlike um, good old figure of destiny, yeah, which you was can keep using his last ability continuously. Yeah, 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 this guy just continue throwing up counters. Mm-hmm. Uh, you could reuse the last ability on figure, but it changed nothing for no it. reason. Yeah. So, do you think we'll see this in standard? It's tricky. We'll, we'll see it in Abzan Agro mm-hmm. for definite, but uh, I don't think it's going to do too much. Oh wow, it's mythic as well. Okay. Yeah, it is. Okay. That's tricky. Like, two mana, it becomes a 3-3. Free free. So if you've got nothing happening in your aggro deck, if if you stalled for, for yeah, drawing your second, mm-hmm. um, your two mana card, you've got uh, you've got the ability there to use instead if you wish. Yeah, it's a good mana sink. So yeah. yeah. Pretty good. All right. All right. Okay, moving on to the last card. Mardu Strike Leader or Wrecking Ball? <laughs> oh yeah, look! <laughs> if you look carefully at the art, you know what well, that's funny. Ah <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so three, two, four, two colorless, one black. Mm-hmm. Uh, whenever Mardu Strike Leader attacks, put a two-one black warrior token. Yes. Thank you. We wait for the cat to jump anyway. off. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, put a 2-1 Black Warrior creature token onto the battlefield. Yes. Dash for uh, three colorless, one black. Mm -hmm. And dash is you get to play it for its dash cost instead. If you do, it gains haste and return it uh, from the battlefield to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next turn step. What's the dash like on that, do you think? I definitely want to play this guy as... Uh, it's three mana drop. Yeah, I think you really? would, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the dash you could use uh, if you really need to get a hit in straight away. Mm-hmm. If they're on free life and you just need that free damage, you can just do this if you want. But you're primarily going to play uh, play it for its uh, free mana. Absolutely, yeah. I'd imagine you would. Yeah, it seems pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. So that was quicker than last time, and more coordinated, and made more sense. You say this. I don't uh, think it did. Didn't make too much. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it is still fun though. Yeah, it's great. I mean, the spoilers so far have been quite a mixed bag, and they're very hard to evaluate as well. You don't know what's really going to make it. There's. Not, I don't think there's apart from the um, the guy that 
kind of pops out the uh, the prowess tokens. I yeah, haven't yeah. seen any card that Monastery, I'm like... Monastery, yeah, mental. Mental, yeah. yeah. I haven't seen any card that I've instantly thought, that's going to see so much play. Apart from that guy, really. Mm. It, there, it's... There's another I've been uh, thinking about toying around with. Yeah. It's a four, man, uh, four mana 3-3, three, three, I think it was, or 3-4. Mm. It's an orc, and uh, when it attacks, well, wherever a creature attacks... Uh, they lose it. Their opponent loses a life. You gain it. That's strong. Have uh, you just put us off track again? Yep. <laughs> Bad boy. Enjoy that. Bad boy. <laughs> it's got another ability. So uh, just go through the spoilers. It's like a you will find it. It's like a hell rider with a. <sighs> that was a drained <laughs> noise. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, they take life. You gain it. Yeah. But yeah, I think that's that. Pretty much wraps it up for now. I mean, I'm sure you know there'll be a lot more. Yeah, hopefully Nikki B can come back as well. It's not looking very hopeful, but there does need to be at least one more planeswalker, and that seems to be the most illegible. So, yeah, we will definitely, uh, we will definitely see. I'm really hoping that he shows up, but rumor has it that he may not until um, until the next one dragons are to care. But it, yeah. otherwise, we're not sure what the other planeswalker would be. But it'd be a nice surprise either way. Hmm. Um, also. Fetchlands. Yes, we forgot to mention this last time. So, so explain what they're going to do. Back in uh, Dragon's Maze, uh, which is in the Return to Wrath block, um, they decided to print the uh, Shocklands from the previous sets mm -hmm. uh, in these to make it a bit more accessible. And yes. they're doing the same thing with the Fetchlands. Yeah, so it, which is like whenever you open sweet. a booster, you kind of can get... The chance of one of the lands that are two uh, color and you gain life, yeah. three color ones, I believe, or a fetch land. I'm not sure if the three. Color I don't ones know if the three colors are going to be. I don't know. I mean, so, that's why I would assume, but no, probably not. So yeah, yeah. and I mean, most importantly, flooded strand's going to be there. Yeah. Well, that that's annoys me. That, that annoys me. Why? Because wooded foothills, bro. Gruel. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a good place to end it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll catch you later, guys. Yeah, we'll see you later.